day, people! This is Sharpino here. Welcome, you guys, to episode number 12 of the Pokemon Sun Shiny Lock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course, you are a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit like button down below for us, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we took on Olivia in the Grand Trial of Akala Island, and we were successful with the newly acquired Shinotic that we got as our latest Shiny Edition. Also, we went to Aether Paradise and we saw Nihilago here before us, and much like the last time, it fled us. And I was just like, for fuck's sake. This episode, we've made it to Yula Yula Island, and we're going to go ahead today and find out what shiny Pokemon we're going to hunt for next, because this is a Nuzlocke, so basically, if this Pokemon dies, or if any of them lose their three lives, we have a backup. So before we do that, let's quickly go ahead and have a look at our team, just in case this is the first time you guys are watching it, and you're just like, oh, stumbled upon this episode, you know? Like, what's up? So we got ourselves Fruit Loops, the Tucanon, uh, Trolled, the Malice Landed, hardy ha ha, Forks, the Flachinda, Ted Jones, the Shenonic, Rabombi, uh, Barry the Rabombi, and our starter, Van Halen, the Gum Shoes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and swap things around. Let's go ahead and put Trolled out front now, because Trolled and Barry are both our weakest Pokemon. So we have to go ahead and spend some quality time with them, just to make sure that they know that they are loved by me, and that we're going to train them up. Because we did take the experience share off, so basically the only time we get to do with training is either off-screen or um, in this fashion. But, <laughs> by the end of today's episode, we will decide what Pokemon we actually want to hunt for. I have to actually remember what uh, specific Pokemon are inside this area here. I heard that they serve tea somewhere here in Mallee Garden. I'll start my search from the bridge here. Why don't you start around the edge of the garden? Now, I do, if I remember correctly, I do know that you can get uh, Araquanids here. If I can get a shiny Araquanid, that would be awesome. Just because I love Araquanid. Uh, run away. Thank you. Oh, item. Let me get something that counts. Let's have a look and see what we can find in this area over here. It is an Alola Meowth. Hmm, Alolan Meowth wouldn't be too bad, and it's an Alolan form, which we don't have. We don't have an Alolan Shiny in our team. Um, that would be nice, and that's level 27. Fuck, they are fucking in strong. Like, our Pokemon are starting to get a little bit underleveled here. A Luxury Ball, Ooh, very nice. Alright, so, that's uh, Alolan Meowth. A Poliwag, ooh. We can either get Poliwrath with the um, Poliwrath of the War Stone, or we can get Politoed. Get that Gen 2, Gen 1 love in there. But as we're looking at here, there's obviously a good chance that we can get some water types here. Like I said, Araquanid would be absolutely awesome to have on our squad, just because it's another type that we don't have. Um, and also, just because I'm using Araquanid on my Moon Let's Play, and Araquanid is a beast and a half. Actually, let me go ahead and find out what the what our what Pokemon we can encounter. Let's go to uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Because I do remember encountering a Araquanid before. So let's see what Pokemon we can encounter inside the Melee Garden. So, in Sun during the day, we have a 20% chance to find Poliwag, Meowth, Araquanid, and Ladian and 10% chance to find a Psyduck and a Cockney. That's in Pokemon Sun during the day. At night, we have uh, Ariados, Masquerain, Alone Me Out, Poliwag, Psyduck and Cockney. So really, the Araquanid really is the Pokemon I'd be trying to gun for, if I had a choice. So, um, before today's episode ends, we might just come back here and actually go ahead and hunt for that said, or oh, hopefully if that's an encounter, because then again, we can encounter this Alola Meowth, and I mean, honestly, Alola Meowth, or Poliwag, or Araquanid would not be bad. Ladian would be a bitch. That would be a real bitch. And I mean, Cottony and Psyduck would be bad either. Uh, Cottony maybe not so much because it's a Grass Fairy, and we already have one of those, but... Um, but yeah, Araquanid, so there's three Pokemon I would like to encounter in this area today. So, let's continue. Hi, Professor Kakumi! Hey there, what's going on with you two? Your eyes are shining pretty extra bright today, yeah? Did something big happen? Only something like, oh, amazing, because I'm a girl! <laughs> Pr 
Professor, Professor, you gotta hear this. The Ultra Wormhole opened up like right in front of us and there's really our uh, Ultra Beast in there. You gotta tell Professor Burnett too. Well, but you got to see Ultra Wormhole and Ultra Beast. That is amazing. Oh yeah. Sounds like an even better reason to train hard, yeah, on your island challenge. Maybe someday we'll be able to go through the Ultra Wormhole. Alright, your next trial is up on Mount Hokulani. You can catch the bus to get there. Just head up to the bus stop on Route 10, yeah? You guys can go ahead without me, Professor. I've got a hot date with the Malasada shop. Visiting every last one of them is my own personal island challenge. Roger that, good buddy. I'll be waiting at the bus stop shop here whenever you're ready to go. Well... Hey, Shopina, did you know? Of course. I haven't even finished my question yet. You're an idiot. There's an observatory up in Mount Hakulani, and you do know what it is they do at an observatory, right? Hope you do, because I sure as heck don't. Now I'm out. Okay, here's Psyduck's. Oh, I don't like that. I mean, look, Psyduck wouldn't be too bad. I mean, a, a lowland, I mean, not a lowland type. What the fuck? A lowland Psyduck, the fuck? Okay. Um, but I would like to encounter an, Ara an Araquanid, so... If there is a chance for me to improve my chances of counting an Araquanid, I would like to know. I would like to know. So let's go over here. There is a trainer. Let me just bypass it. Thank you. More grass over here. I believe that's the, the grass mountain you use to evolve even to Leafeon. Ladian. Oh boy. I am so glad I did not say I'm going to look for now. Just because, like I said, Ladeen is probably like one of the worst Pokemon ever to exist. Like, honestly, Magikarp would be better than Ladeen. That's fact. So if you guys are a bunch of Ladeen lovers, don't bother coming to me, so you'll just be wasting your time. But I want to see this Araquanid. Where are you, buddy? No, nope, we'll just keep running into Alola Meowth. Ugh, goodness gracious. Ugh. Well, we may as well take on it to try and get some more experience. So we're going to go for a flame burst over here. Kabay! Not quite enough to get the kill. Going for the kill! Unfortunately our defenses took a big drop. I know why I keep doing that. I just... I like the Durka song. If you guys have ever look on YouTube the Durka song, you'll laugh at it too. Alright, so get a little bit of experience. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Jabbity job, job. job. Alright, so this is a grassy seed. Ooh, now this is actually works out for us, but we've got the big root on the um on the Shenonic there, so we'd be, be good, we'd be good. And here's the Araquanid. Now we're gonna encounter this Araquanid. I will be so ecstatic. Because when I want to encounter freaking Bond Sweet, I got Shenonic. Whenever I wanted to encounter something that was relatively decent, I kept encountering this. So, all I can say is, I really hope, I really hope, when I declare that I'm going to look for a Pokemon, that we do get the Araquanid, because I would not like to face having to shiny hunt for a Ladina. That would not make me a happy Sharpie. That would make me a very unhappy Sharpie. Let's go for nature, natural power. What does it become here? It becomes Energy Ball still. We're just going to go ahead and get the kill on this Araquanid. Look how beast this thing is! Seriously, this thing is so beast, like, that fucking, it's, oh, it's calling for more backup now, oh shit. And there's another Arachnid. Now, fuck. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and run from you guys. <coughs> I mean, I would like to catch one now, just to get your dex entry, but, uh, excuse me, uh, we don't catch a Pokemon unless we're deciding that is our shiny target. So, you know, not this piece of shit. I swear to god. The thing is, Ladeon has the same probability as Raquanid, Alola Meowth, and Poliwag. So again, if it comes down to us having to fucking encounter, and we encounter that piece of shit fucking Ladeon, oh, I'm gonna be so pissed, because we had a 40% chance to... Fuck. Not to fuck, but you know. We had a 40% chance to get a Bon Suite in the Mellow Garden, Lush Jungle. And we got on a 10% chance that we got the freaking Molol. So, all I can say is I just hope that, you know, things will go for ourselves a little bit better this time around. That's all I can hope for. That is all I can hope for. 
So we got ourselves our, a normal Persian here. Not bad, not bad, boy. Gonna get the Screech. Ooh, that's gonna scare me a lot because it's bad enough that this thing has no defense whatsoever. Pair that up with the fact that it's not even maximum. You know what? I'm gonna stick with it anyway. Even though we're EVL. Oh, guys, let's go for another Screech. So he's protecting us as well, but we're like, nope, we're staying in. We are staying in on this bitch today. Ah, uh, god damn it, it wasn't a crit. Fuck. Alright, let's go ahead and bring in Barry. Barry! Could I entrust the chances of this thing going for a bloody double edge or some stupid shit, and it's just like, ah, bitch! We got some Fury Swipes. So there you go, we would have we would have most definitely died to that. Most definitely. Uh, but this thing goes for a crit on the third Fury Swipe. Hits us four times. God damn. Alright, let's go for a Dragon Kiss, just to make sure that if this thing does live this, for whatever reason, that we do have enough health to live at least five Fury Swipes. But, doesn't matter because this Persian does, in fact, eat the big one. Get that experience, though, and Troll is level 30. Let's go, Maos and land it. Marowak is next. The normal Marowak, not the Alola one. Nah, man, you're not cool. You're not cool, man. You're not cool. Let's go for a Pollen Puff. A Bone Meringue. We resist that. Not very effective. It didn't do much damage. Pollen Puff, Pollen Puff, go! Poo! Down goes the. And Barry is now level 30, so everyone should be in the 30s. I think maybe one or two Pokemon are not in the 30s. Oh, it doesn't look so sad. It looks so sad. All this sand from bones and everything else. Like, God damn. So glad you're so happy, Barry. You got such a cute little stuff. Look at that happy face. How could you be... How could you hate that face? You can't hate that face. It's so goddamn cute. It's so goddamn cute when I hug it till its head comes off. Oh, he's so fucking cute. Oh, he's so cute. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, not remember that little moment there. But you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Head back down. Let's head to the Pokemon Center because you know you can't ride Pokemon in this park. It is forbidden. It is forbidden. Alright, so let's go over here. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your your kindness. I, I thank you kindly for your kindness there. Alright, so we do have ourselves in our fully healed team here. Let's go ahead and let's see who needs a bit of love. Who needs a little bit of training. Everyone's level 30 so and above, so we're looking good. We're looking good. We are starting to fall a little bit behind in the levels, but... It doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, you know, we we just, we out here. We out here. Here's Lily though. Hi Lily. What's up girl? Shapiro, would you mind if I asked you something? Pew pew pew! Let me guess, you want to go to the ruins? Yes, I want to take Nebby to visit Yula Yula ruins, but they are located deep in the large desert. I don't want to ask that much of you. Right now I'm planning to visit Mali Library. There's a book that I want to look for there. Maybe you'd be, even be willing to help me there. I know that Melee Library is here within the city of Melee somewhere. Even I should be able to find it. I can do this. Pew pew pew. In other words, <laughs> no you can't. You get lost all the time. Alright, let's get the Zygarde stuff over here. Mine. Let us continue. Professor! Ah, it's a Lolan Professor Oak. I'll try and get a Samoan voice. <coughs> Not trying to be racist Samoans, but you know. Yeah. Okay. Why, hello there, Autumn! Are you feeling nice and comfy there in that Pokedex of yours? Never better, is it? Vaman! Well, hello there. Good to meet you. I'm Oak Samsonok. I'm a professor of research and I'm looking into the regional variants found around here. And you must be Sharpino, huh? Young Kikui mentioned you'll be here. Rotom, you be sure to help this fine young girl on her trip around the islands, alright? Who do you think you're talking to? Of course, I'll do that. 
And you shall be no. I'll be trusting you to keep Rodham safe as well. The young fellow from Kellos who helped invent that Pokedex put a lot of work into it. And as much love and care as any parent. I'll be in the mail library if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat in time. If you're having trouble finding the library, just follow the Black Brick Road. I mean the patterns on these piles, of course. Black circle, black triangle, black square. Follow the pattern, I'll get you there. The man. I don't know why. <laughs> if you're watching, I do apologize if I offend you. I didn't mean to do that. It's just a voice. It's just a voice, people. It's nothing to get too overly insulting about, really. There are bigger and more important things to worry about than that. But I digress. I digress. Sharpina, I'm sorry, I ended up getting lost again. Yet again. Because, you know, she just loses every time. I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into the apparel shop. And then I saw this outfit and they said it was the last one that had in stock, so I brought it. Even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like this. Ha ha ha. But the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library, so I guess you could say there is all for the best. Though the library was actually right past the apparel store if I just kept going. <laughs> well, Sharpino, it's been a while, friend. Looks like your island challenge has come along favorably, and that must be pleasing to the tapoo. So, Sharpino, who might this be? Oh, well, hello, uh, my name is Lily. My apologies if Mudsdale spoke to you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a child goer, so what are you up to? Oh, uh, I'm actually, um, studying the Tapu's ruins. For various reasons of my own. Huh, well that's some fine initiative. I'll be happy to show you the way whenever you like to go. My Mudsdale here is as sturdy as an old get out. She can easily carry too. Thank you for your offer. Well then, we'll be off. To the loo, Sharpino. Lily. Sharpino, shall we check out Mally Library first though, since we're here? I would say so. I would say venturing the library was definitely in our best interests. Uh, affirmative. Uh, affirmative. The book that I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and head up and let's try and find out what about the legendary of Sun that we will find. It must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to take it out of the library. <laughs> you need a sewing machine. Is this what you're looking for, Princess? Give it a read! Uh, oh, of course! Well, it's titled The Light of Alola. It's just, um, read out loud, shall I? Uh, yeah, I guess you have to, it's all here. The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where had been none. A single beast appeared from it. It was called the beast that devoured the sun. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that shone so like the sun. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end the beast had won. Then did the beast that devoured the sun shine its light on the line of kings. Then did the beast that had won bring nature's gift to bless all things. Beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir in a little born, that island guardians would keep in strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Sol Galeo with song and flute. Two tones rang out across the altar, a perfect pair even after mute. Spit bars, god damn. Wrap it. <laughs> Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. What? I mean, yes it is, but when you say your father, isn't this book kind of very old? Yeah, it belonged to my dad. I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I had to have all my dad's books moved here so they don't get ruined by the Pokemon. I can tell you lots of old, old stories about Lola too, if you're interested. Well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but you know what? You've come to Lola Yula Yula. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Sharpina? Good luck with that. I read that Yula Yula Island's electric type trial can only be reached by the bus on Route 10. Mm-hmm. Indeed. 
Indeed. Well. Vel. Vel, 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 Vel. What I think I'll do now for the rest of the episode is... First off... Uh... Nothing. Wait, what's up here? Let me just go ahead and get my Taurus. What is up here? Oh, it's, a, it's another area, and there's a trainer. Clean, clean, clean. Oh, this is the site. Oh, I remember this, where you versus the guys, um, Alolan Muck and Alolan, um, Grimer. Oh, right. It's a Trubbish. Trubbish! Let's go troll. Send it. Now, I've got a thing. I know this thing does have stockpiles, so I'm going to go ahead and go for a Toxic. That corrosion coming through. Stockpile, there you go. So even though we do have a set, you know, damage move being Dragon Rage, I do know that uh, Trubbishes have a lot of base HP. So just to make sure we get the work done, we can go for those big old Dragon Rages. Ooh, damn! Oh shit. And that was a crit too, you son of a bitch. Alright, so the poison is definitely doing the work against this trubbish. So let's go for a flame burst. And that should take out the trubbish. Trubbish! Get that experience. Next up is another trubbish. At least now we know we don't have to go for toxic. We can just go for two dragon rages and be done with it. There we go. You can stockpile all you want, Trubbish, but it ain't gonna do any good. Now, I actually wanna have a look and see... Fishing, yes. I'm gonna look up Melee Garden out of Cape. Out of Cape. You know what? Rather than just have a look at it, it's just Melly Guy. I need to just make sure I've got the right area. No, no, Mali City, Outer Cape. Okay. I'm just going to refine my search. Mali City, Outer Cape. Okay, so we can find an Alolan Radicate, Magnemite, Grima, Alola, Trubbish, Garbodor, and Gumshoes. So that's pretty bad. So I think we'll won't shiny hunt here, because that would be a terrific understatement on our part today. Alright, so with that said, uh, let us continue on our Melly Melly journey. Uh, there's trainers up here, oh there's the kid with the Grimer. Antidote. Alright, so should we take him on? I guess we could. We get this item over here, it's an XP. Oh gosh. Oh, man, that really helped. Okay, so. So, we already know what we're going to encounter here. So let's have a look and see what we're going to encounter. There's the gumshoes that we thought we had. So, not really a big fan of uh, Garboder. Not really. It's a bit, not, not trying to be offensive to Garboder, but just... I don't know, man. Just Garboder, just, you know, just, 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 just. All right, so I think we'll wrap this episode up here with the showdown with these two here because I'm pretty sure after we do this battle, that'll do bring us up to nearly 30 minutes. We'll have a bit of a short episode today just so we can make sure that we have ourselves, uh, you know, enough time that we can go ahead and um, do the damn thing with the new shiny. All right, I'd say we're about done, you yeah? Let's call the day and get home. Grime. Huh? What are you doing here, kid? This is a restricted area. We're working here. 
Seriously, boy, aren't you a Mali native? We are famous for our hospitality. <laughs> and kids need to explore and see the world. How else are they going to learn? I swear. Yes, for other. I mean, sir, yes, sir. If that's what you really want, then I'll tell you this random trespasser about what it is we do here. This is the way they take care of all the garbage produced in the Lola region, young lady. We janitors work together with our Pokemon towards this goal, in fact. The garbage that we human workers gather is consumed by Muck and Grimer, like the one here. Our president here beside me has a Muck that can eat 10 tons of rubbish in a single day. Though me and Grimer here are still just temporary contract workers. But isn't that what an island challenge amulet you have there? Oh, isn't that an island challenge amulet you have there? I took on the trials myself when I was a kid, though it was a bit too much for me, so I actually ended up giving up right away. Hmm, look okay, it kid, seems to me that my mucks had a bit too much to eat today. How about you join me the bell and provide it with a bit of exercise to aid the old digestion? I'd be happy to. Well splendid, you've got chutzpah, my friend, then let's get this thing happening. Alright, so we're going to help this old man get his uh, muck in check as far as trying to make sure it gets a good workout. And don't worry. Your Muck will get a good workout here. Let's go, Mucky boy! And of course, it's this Muck here. Now, I would love to get a shiny Muck here, but I don't want to get a, a Garboder or a fucking. Uh, well, Garbage just would be uh, species, so it's just Garboder. Alright, let's go for a Beak Blast, because this thing has a lot of contact moves. Acid Spray. Oh, and it has the one move that doesn't make contact. Well, goddamn! Beak blast this bitch! God damn! Pluck! Down goes the monkey. I was exercising a position, but you came at me full on. Well, that's the whole point of a Pokemon battle, like, jeez. Well, not too shabby. Just like I figured. You got something in you, kid. Uh, amazing, you even beat my fa- uh, I mean, my boss's monk. What are you doing standing there like a lump? You're up next, you useless dullard. But what, me? Me and Grimer? There's no way we can win against this kid. You see, it's just like you did with your trials when you were a kid. The moment something starts to look tough, you just cry off and run. You give up, and you're supposed to be on my own. You're supposed to be my son. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't you do the same thing, Mr. Garbage Guy, when you were on your trials? So you can't fucking be on your high horse telling your son, to not quit, because you quit as well, you fucking lazy dad. Fuck. The only thing I can give you points for is the fact you're trying to not let your son repeat your mistakes. That's the only thing I can give him credit for. How can I leave this plan to you if you never learned the value of a bit of hard work? I can never leave things in your hands if you don't give me a reason to trust that you can handle it. Father. Uh, fine, we'll do it. We will not run away anymore. We will give this thing everything that I've got. Then let me take you on. I'm a man now, just you watch father, I mean sir. Oh yes, you got me scared by going father, I mean sir. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Graber, 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 Graber. So Grimer's here, we're up against, facing off against our Fruit Loops here, who does not look like he's in the mood for any bullshit. Go for a beat blast. What will Grimer do? It will go for Minimize. I just said I'm not in the mood for this shit! What the fuck, you piece of shit! Oh my god, you cunt! Oh, for fuck's sake! Seriously. Seriously. Are we serious? Are we seriously doing this? I'm going to have another big blast. I swear he minimizes for a second time here. Like, fuck off. Knock off? Yeah, you fuck, get that burn. Oh, but we get poisoned! You're a dick! Beat Blast! God damn, we got that fucking burn though, Jesus Christ. And the burn's gonna do absolutely nothing. Alright, let's go ahead and swap out into... Forks? I cannot believe we missed twice on one minute minus. Like, the fuck, bruh! Bruh! Barra. Poison Fang. Ah, we dodge. We 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 dodge. We we, we dodge. And down goes the gamer, 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 gamer. That was my best shot, father. Well, you missed. 
Oh, look at how sad he looks. No, seriously, look at that face. Look at that face. He looks so dep he looks so sad. Don't worry, don't worry, Fruit Loops. I got you covered. I got you covered. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. There you go. Now you're all better. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right. Now I believe is the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Blast it all! You. I'm sorry, Father. I'm just. just a weakling. You're hired! Father? I'm not your father, I'm your boss! And I'm saying that you are hired, boy! From this day forth, I'm making you the head of the planet, and I won't hear another word of complaint about it from you! What? You saw that this trainer was stronger than you or even me, and still you and your Grimer went up against her with everything that you had in you. That's what I've always wanted to see from you. That kind of persistence and drive. A drive. Yo! And that's why you you and Grimer, that's why you going to make take over for me. Thank you, sir. Father, sir. I mean, Mr. Former President, sir. Sorry for using you to teach my boy a lesson, but when I saw your Island Challenge amulet you had there, it just hit me, you know? Take this from your troubles. It may be twisted, but it's not garbage. Twist spoon? Hey, 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 <laughs> Now that I've got my successor sorted out, I can finally retire to a life of peace and quiet. I think I can trust my boy's crew to keep up on eating all their lovers' garbage from now on. Yes, sir, you can, sir. It's yeah, sorry about that, guys. I got a bit of a phone call, looked at my phone, it was on silent, but it was saying mum was calling. You guys know the drill with me and my mum. Like, not saying I'm a mum's boy or anything, but, you know, I just... You know, you gotta answer the phone when your mum calls, because... You know that, you know, when the video ends, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So, so, let's head over here and let's see what shiny Pokemon we will encounter for this next targeting. I really hope it's going to be a Raquinid. I fucking do not want a fucking Ladean. I swear to God, if I get Ladean, I'm just going to be so fucking done with this game. I really am. So, we'll head over here to the bush. I know there's a bush there, but I liked over here where we found the raccoon in here, so... <sighs> please, 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 please. Anything but Ladean. Just not a not Ladean, not Cockney. Just... <sighs> Survey says... YES! Yes! Oh, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Yes! Shiny fucking Alaku in it. Let's fucking go! Yes! Oh, thank fuck! God damn! Oh my god! For the first time, I get a shiny I wanted. Oh my god, people. What are. Oh. Thank you, God. Oh my God. I swear, if we would have got Ladean, I would have fucking flipped my shit right here. Oh my God. Man, we got the Araquanid. Let's fucking go. Now we can shiny hunt for an Araquanid, and it's actually awesome. Yeah. And of course, it would wake up when well, I'm trying to catch it now. Just don't call in reinforcements, I beg of you. Alright, so that is awesome. That is absolutely just, just fucking awesome. And it's just so fucking awesome. Back to sleep you go. We're going to go ahead and catch this Araquanid. Okay, I'm very happy. I'm a very, 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 very happy boy over here. Boy. One, two, three. There we go! That sounds a fucking Raquinid. Let's fucking go! Yes! Yes! Rack with fucking it. Let's go, people! Ah, oh, I'm so fucking happy. Ah, oh, I'm so fucking happy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now, I will point out, I will point out that 
Um, I do all my shiny hunting on my moon let's play. Now, unfortunately, I don't think you can get a Raccoonid in this area. Let me just go ahead and double check that just to make sure. Um, in moon. Oh, you actually do get it in moon. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Alright, so we do actually get a Raccoonid during the day, but it has to be during the day. I don't give a fuck, we got ourselves a fucking Raccoon to hunt, and I'm so fucking happy. Like, guys, oh my god, over Ledean, fuck that bullshit. Fuck that bullshit. I, I swear, if I, I saw Ledean, I swear, I would have just left the episode. I would just fucking said, nah, not happening. I just do not want to have to face having to hunt for a shiny Ledean. One, because it's a piece of shit Pokemon. Number two, why the fuck would I waste my time on a piece of shit Pokemon like that? Like, seriously. Like, Golduck is not bad. Poliwagon to Poliwrath or Politoad is not bad. But fucking Ladean would have just been bone crushing. So, in the next episode, we will go ahead and have ourselves a beautiful shiny Araquanid, hopefully on your screens over here. Hopefully it won't take too long and hopefully it will have its ability of water compaction because I believe uh, it is, is that water bubble or water com oh wait, water compaction, wait, 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 wait. Let me quickly go ahead and double check uh, Araquanid's abilities. It's got water compaction and... Oh no, sorry, what am I talking about? What the hell? Uh, water absorb, water bubble. I'm pretty sure I saw I have um, Araqua... Araquanid, there we go. I was going to double check just to make sure I haven't got the abilities incorrect. So, oh, it's only got two abilities, water bubble or absorb. Oh. Why do I keep thinking about what's water compaction? Water... Oh, that's freaking Sandy Gas and Pilot Sands ability. What the fuck? I am such an idiot. I am such a fucking idiot. Alright, so we'll go ahead and hunt that shiny Araquanid. And if a Pokemon is to die, at the very least, we'll have ourselves a shiny Araquanid. Or, you know, if we have a lot of shinies in the, in the PC, what we might do is actually swap up the teams. Just to make things a little bit interesting, just so you guys are not stuck with this team if we happen to do really well. But the experience shares off, so I'm not doing any off-screen training or anything. The only thing I'm basically doing is getting up to the certain level if I if I bring on the team, and that's it. So I will say thank you very much for enjoying today's episode. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below for us because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. And in the next episode, we will head down Route 10, I believe and head up to the observatory to find out what is the dealios with the electric trial. So until the next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I will catch you guys all next time. Later!